What's up guys, um, welcome back to the next uh, video in learning C++. My name is QD Aznan and you guys are watching my channel Cryowood. Alright, so we have learned uh, how to declare our um, struct as a global declaration. We can put it outside the main. Now we are, now we are a little bit confident and um, we, wanna, we, went, we are going to the company and the uh, company instruct us to say uh, uh, make a struct um, record of the school students for example and we are giving the id and the name and score so how you guys gonna do that how you guys gonna approach that one so we're gonna come here and we're gonna remove everything from here we are going for interview and our boss declares that uh, we have a contract with the uh, school and uh, you want you i uh, want you to write a software program to list all the students name uh, id name and score so simple as simple as that there is nothing higgly piggly in that one there is nothing complication there is nothing so every student have an id every student have a name every student have a score so but you guys not required to put any address or any other sensitive information there of birth all you guys need to do is just to put a id name and uh, score so what are you guys gonna do so uh, and then we're gonna come here and say struct uh, school students so we're gonna we're gonna put a name so you, we can remember that this is about the school student okay so I'm gonna close it here and keep in mind you guys put your semicolon here okay so the first one ID is the type int you guys can put it in student ID student ID whatever you guys want to put so what about the name uh, student and then you guys can put a string student name that's fine and what about the score we can put a double because you guys might uh, score might use a decimal for score so we can put a double here all right so now we're going to come down now we have a here struct student um, school student that's the name of our struct it's got an element id it's got a string student name and double score so we're going to come down first to begin with we say school student school student and uh, we put a say some sort of um, name for uh, our variable as we say in our previous video so you guys can put us you guys can you use this name and you guys can put some sort of um, and we put a students and that's the name of our uh, variable so you guys can uh, can declare everything here whatever you guys want to do you guys can uh, have declared many but uh, you guys can take it from user as well and we're gonna show go that one in the next video how you guys gonna get it from the user so we uh, have here a school student and we have a student here we that's the name of the variable and this is the name of the struct and we're gonna come here and we put a, some sort of uh, say space for uh, this student so we're gonna put some sort of student the first one is uh, we can put a say uh, any student name we can put a id is gonna be one the name is gonna be say uh, the second one is gonna be the name is gonna be say yes Danny. and the score is gonna be say um, yes Danny is gonna say um, 20 score 20.1 20 score okay so we can only copy this one because uh, we're feeling a bit lazy we're gonna put it here say id2 and this this guy's name is a michael for example and michael's gotta say 19.1 uh, for example we're gonna come on a third one the third guy is here the third one's the id is gonna be three the name is going to be say uh, Joanna for example and Joanna has got say uh, 
0.1. So if you have a three students, you're not gonna go ahead more than three students. So it doesn't matter if you guys gonna put 10 or you guys can put uh, any number. So now uh, we need to put some sort of size here. So we put a constant here on top. So we're gonna come here and we put some sort of const const int say um, max um, it's the max size for example and uh, what's our max size gonna be say for example that we don't want this one to exceed say we're gonna put it uh, seven for example or we want to put it four so max size keep in mind and we put a max size here max size now we are have declared our max size for and you guys can put it here as well all right so now we're gonna come down and uh, we are gonna output our um, program so now we're gonna loop through our students and we say for int i is equal to zero say uh, i is uh, less than uh, max size okay so i is less than max size and we're gonna put i plus plus okay so we put a max size is four we're gonna add one more we're gonna put a say for example gonna be number four and the fourth one's gonna be say for example um, Linda for example and Linda's got a 25 point say seven 25 point seven score okay so now we are uh, we have a um, struct here school students and we have a ID name in score here we have a constant maximum size 4 because we don't want anything more than uh, 4 for example and uh, now here we are uh, going to iterate through all of them all of the, our records here uh, remove this one from the last one and uh, we are using the for loop and with our for loop we're going to put a C out and the first one we're gonna put a set uh, width set W and with the set W how much score how much space do you want for this one we say we want to put a four and uh, <coughs> we want to put a student and um, students I and uh, we want to put a dot ID then uh, you want to put the second one and we want to put a set uh, width and what do you guys want to put a set width for the name say you guys gonna put a say uh, 15 for the name and uh, you can put a students students and then you guys can put i for element the reason we are putting i for this one i int i because you guys need to put it for uh, the c plus plus to uh, run the loop and uh, we put a, the second one is gonna be student name dot student name Okay, so we're gonna bring it here a little bit closer. We are gonna bring it a little bit closer. We're gonna put it here. This one's gonna be here. And the last one, we're gonna put a set width. Uh, what's the width gonna be? For example, we are gonna put a say uh, uh, six, for example. And you guys can put a students. Then you guys can put an I then uh, you guys can put a score score 
and our program's done. Okay, for uh, set W, say uh, we need to put a uh, input. So we're gonna run our program. So we made a mistake here. Students, okay, we're gonna run our program here. So our programs run okay. So you guys can see here, yes, Danny and uh, the IDs and um, two, three, four, and I'm gonna put some sort of um, record here, say we're gonna put a, here, you're gonna put a C out. The record, XYZ school. Uh, so we have uh, some sort of noise. Some sort of uh, something nice here. So we put uh, the student record of XYZ school. You can uh, put a nice lines or something here. So we're going to run our program again and we're gonna run so you guys can see here that the uh, the student record of uh, school xyz school does something nice here but if you guys want to put it some you can put it on top you don't need to put inside the for loop So we put some sort of noise message here and we're gonna run again and you can see that the student record of XYZ school the first one is gonna be yes Danny with the score the second one is gonna be Michael the third one is gonna be Joanna and then it's gonna be Linda but if you guys want see our uh, programs uh, running out of uh, bound here the yes Dan is here and uh, Michael's here but Joanna and Linda's here so you guys can uh, put justify left if you guys want you guys can uh, put it here so all of them is going to be nice and uh, on the side you guys can come here and uh, before your for loop you can do that uh, set iOS flex you can put a flex you guys can uh, do see out set iOS flex and uh, what's iOS flex and uh, you can input output you can do it put it on the left so now everything is going to be on the left and now we're looking here it looks very nice guys if you look at here it looks very nice because we put a set uh, input output on the left and uh, set ios flags and uh, what's ios flags gonna be on the left so all of them looks ceiling looks nice and nice and tight nice and tidy here looks there is not not looking messy or anything but it looks very very awesome so that's how you guys uh, fix that by just adding c out set ios flags ios on the left so you guys can uh, make your program looks very nice and tidy so that's how you guys uh, can put array with your uh, struct so that's how uh, you can uh, use uh, not one or two but many many records of say employees or you can put records of the students or anything else 
you guys can put it all right uh, that's it for this video guys if you have any question or comment leave in the comment box otherwise i'll see you guys in the next video and bye